So this is a video on our PID PLC trainer. And you'll notice that the, the PLC is wired up, hardwired to the IO module, and then also has a terminal strip on top. The terminal strip, the green wire, is going to be the analog output going to the PID controller. The two blue wires are the valve open and close contacts. The red wire is a positive coming back from the power supply on the PID trainer. The black is going to be the common coming back. And then the only input we're using, and the rest of them are all spares, is the yellow one. And that's going to connect to the proximity switch coming back. So all the negatives from starting from here and every other one are going to be jumpered together. And that's your common, your 24 volt DC common. This is coming or going to the PLC as an input saying where the ball height is actually located or where the ball is being located. The higher it goes, the higher the input goes. The green coming back is your analog 0 to 10 volt coming into the PID trainer. And then the two blue are your open and close on your valve. So we'll power up. Let the PLC boot up. And there's a sample program loaded, preloaded inside the PLC. And so again, this is totally isolated. It has nothing to do with the PID trainer. It just only for exercises on the PLC, so those two go together. So we have two meters on the PID trainer. A ball height, which is an analog signal at the top that tells the PLC where the ball height is. So right now we have it the set point on the PID is approximately 50%, maybe maybe 40%, we'll have to check. Um, the fan speed is should be, definitely have it always on a hard surface. There's holes on the bottom that will allow air to come in from the bottom. And if you have it on a soft surface, it'll clog the holes and then it'll prevent the air from coming in. So it'll slow the fan or the fan will try and work harder to move the ball up. These are your open and close. So as the damper closes, the fan's going to try and speed up. And depending upon your PID that you have set... then this is it coming from the controller, from the PLC, or from a any kind of analog 0 to 10 volt signal that's coming in to the PID trainer. Again, this is your output going to your controller. This is the input going from your controller. And that's the input to the PID trainer. So you can open and close the damper manually or you can have it programmed in the PLC with the two blue wires that they control it and right now we have this is the PID so it's oscillating a lot I'm not sure why but our set point is set at 40. And that's about where it's where it's located at. <laughs> 